It is Thank so you. Good Thank to you see so you much. Again. Thank you for oh, coming Oh, thanks back. for having me. Oh, please. I, uh, I got to tell you, all that money I paid Michael Cohen for access to you was totally worth it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. There's see? nowhere I'd rather be on my night off than when you <laughs> on network television Is giving it? America yes. the entertainment <laughs> that they crave. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I never. I don't see you that. Well, much. by the way, I saw you from afar last week in the Met Gala. Oh, the Met Gala. How about that freak show? Were Let's get right into it. <laughs> the Met Gala. I wasn't invited, but I went anyway. I, uh, I'll tell you, the, the, the theme, and you know how important a theme is to a party, ladies and gentlemen. The theme <laughs> was heavenly bodies, fashion, and the Catholic imagination. That's right. The Catholic imagination. <laughs> or, or as we used to call it in school, school impure thoughts. <laughs> that was the you, theme. Speaking of uh, Catholic imagination. <laughs> Speaking of which, I, I loved your defrock priest outfit. I, <laughs> I, I just got dressed up as a nun and spent the evening smashing people on the knuckles oh, with a big that ruler. You? Oh, was that you? Yeah. Uh, that was you. But I if that know. was the theme, you yeah. think, what were the themes they rejected? <laughs> Simple it's... souls, styles of the Amish. <laughs> it's just... Jews, jean jackets, and Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> Let accessories be your savior. <laughs> this was a great title. This was models and celebrities all dressed up as religious figures. It was like touring the Vatican on mushrooms. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, it's John the Baptist. No, it's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> At one point, I was in the bathroom and I thought I smelled incense, but yeah. it was the three wise men smoking a joint. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, the Olsen twins were there. Yeah, that's right. And the Olsen twins make everything better. But I, I, I was... <laughs> but I was mortified because I talked to the coat racks for 20 minutes and I didn't realize I, it wasn't them. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, that wasn't, yeah. That was, that was the coat rack you were talking to. the coat rack. Uh, it Nathan. was the coat uh, racks, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. the coat rack, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about the play, can we sure. please? Uh, uh, congrats, Angels in America. I know, it's, it's overwhelming. It's, we're all very gratified. But yes, it's this historic uh, 11 Tony nominations. 11 Tony nominations. Yes, but even more exciting, Donald Trump was also nominated for Best Revival of Nixon. Is that uh, right? Yes. Oh my God, I didn't know that. I, think he, I didn't see the whole list. I think he's got a shot. I didn't see but, the full list on who was nominated. Yeah. But this is... Look, it's one of the greatest plays ever written and, and one of the greatest parts ever written. Yeah. And it's, it's a thrilling challenge, but it's a challenge not only for the actors, but for the audience, because it's an epic marathon. Well, it's very long, It's right? two plays in one. You know, part one is three and a half hours. Part two is almost four hours. And, and as, whenever you say that, there's a little gasp. Yeah. <laughs> because we live in an age where all you want to hear is 90 minutes, no intermission. So you can get back on your phone and p play Candy Crush. <laughs> But I, I, like, I like to tell people that, yes, it's seven and a half hours, but it's not a rectal exam. It's, it's a, Thank you for reminding them that. It's, it's, a, a, it's a Pulitzer Prize winning, Tony Award winning masterpiece by this genius, Tony Kushner. Tony Kushner, And, right. and uh, with a spectacular cast led by the magnificent Andrew Garfield. He was great. Yeah, he, yes. He is fantastic. Yes. And he describes the play very, very well. Oh, the nicest guy in the world. And yes, incredibly eloquent, articulate man. I mean, he's an inspirational, yes. and moving. When he talks about this play, yeah. it's like Oprah. It's, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. it's like Oprah and Obama had a love child. And, it's, <laughs> and he, people, he, are, people are openly he, weeping, he really asking him to great. run for president, yeah. but he, no, but heal he, their sick children. <laughs> he's, you know, he's really, he's also the nicest guy in the world. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.